There is a social media campaign seeking justice for 37-year-old Ruth Ahin, a nurse with a Siwa government hospital and a mother of three. She failed to return home after close of work on Monday. A frantic search for her found her body few meters from her house in a seeming very calm vicinity. Police will not immediately speak to investigations, but our sources reveal one suspect has been arrested. Uh, this place is called um, a Yum New Site, and this spot is where uh, the body of Ruth Ahen was found. Joseph Kobner was a member of Ruth's family who found her body in the bush. Well, we found her left leg uh, stripped here. It was just lying in this place. Just around this place. And from here, we found the handbag here. It was containing some kind of spices. In fact, she was into that business. Yeah. And from here to this place, we find the body here. This is where the body was lying. Exactly this place. That is where the body was lying. And we found her keys in front of her. It was also in this place. Just exactly this place. And from this place, behind this place, there was a phone. A phone was also lying in this place. What Was it her phone? No, it wasn't her phone. Mm. So you find a phone here. So that phone is with the police investigators now. Mm. Yeah. Uh, how was she looking? What was the ground like um, when you found her? Oh, in fact, she was lying here and she was wearing a street dress. It was a African wear. That was a street dress. Just like their uniform. Mm. And her short dress underwear was also put down. Yeah, so that's what exactly we found here. Mm. Any any marks, any cuts, any bruises you found on the body? There was no mark. There was no nothing like a knife or nothing of that sort was found. Mm. Yeah, she was just lying here. No, no blood at all. No, nothing. No, there was no blood. I mean, in fact, we spent a lot of uh, period here before the investigators team came here. Within the period, there was a certain blood coming from the ears and the nose. It seems the body was getting that stuff, yeah. Her grief-stricken <laughs> husband, Kojo Ahen, is seeking justice. I know I can find my wife. My wife cannot be brought back to life. But I'll be so happy if the perpetrators are arrested and punished according to law. So I want the investigation to be swift. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko, Kumasi.